Hey there, welcome to the Animator YouTube channel. So this is another flat style illustration lesson in which we are going to design a flat style martial artist. So let's start. Now as always we are going to start with the head of the character. So let's pick the rectangle tool. Alright, so head of the character is complete. So let's first of all group the whole thing. I will leave the back side of the layer and I will group the whole thing and let's proceed with the body of the character. So for that I'm starting with the neck. For the shoulder I am using circle. For the chest, I'm using rounded rectangle. Okay, I'm just duplicated extra rectangle, rounded rectangles over the chest, and I'm just cancelling out the extra shapes. Okay, there is another trick which is uh, I'm using, uh, I'm doing the rest of the part of the body with the help of strokes. So I will simply use the curvature tool. This is also another useful tool. Let's scale it down. And what I will do is let's fix the whole curvature. Okay, so first of all I will take the stroke and cancel out the fill, increase the stroke size or the stroke width 
arrange and send it back like this. So I will just copy and paste it over here and again I will add an anchor point. The shortcut key, the shortcut key is plus or you can find the tool over here to add anchor point. I will round the cap. Alright, so the body of the character is done. Now it's time for the rest of the part of the body but before that I will just select all of it and change this one to the outline stroke right now it has a single stroke and after doing this it will convert it to an actual shape or rather an outline stroke something like this all right For the hands, I'm using rounded rectangle. Now for the legs, I'm using curvature tool again. So as I'm using the stroke, but I need to vary the width of that stroke in the, I mean uh, the width of the stroke in this particular shape layer. So for that, I'm going to use a very useful tool, which is this width tool. So here we can using this we can vary the width of the stroke at any, any particular area as you can see. So I'm going to use this to vary it and look it more accurate. Okay, there is another tool which I am using over here which is the transform tool. The shortcut is E. If you press E, a panel like this will pop up. You can get it from here as well. See, if you click and hold. The second one is the transform tool. The shortcut is E. Okay, so what it does, it basically transform or distort a shape like this. Alright. There are three tools in total. First one does this. Second one does you can transform any particular side like this. Even like this. If you move vertically, it will transform it vertically. And if you move horizontally, it will move the whole thing horizontally. All right. And this is with which you can select any particular corner and distort it like this. All right. Now we are going to use the second one over here. Now we are going to use the same technique again for the other leg
Alright, so with this our character is complete. So hope you like the video and if you have any doubt regarding the video then make sure to comment down below I will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.